Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings. Um, since it's a little late um, for weeklies for this week that we're um, and I'm, I'm posting these on the 1st of December, um, I'm going to be looking at the time frame of December 1st through to December 11th um, in, in these weekly readings. And uh, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. As always, please remember to watch your Moon and Rising Sun readings for additional messages and keep an open mind. These are general readings, so they may or may not apply um, to you at this time. And just a quick update, um, be sure to check out the New Year special uh, or the raffle. Um, and I'm leaving the links to those in the description box below. So um, if you can't see them right away, just click on show more and they're definitely gonna be in there. Okay, so Taurus, let's just jump in and see what we have coming up for you during this time frame. So your current situation or your main focus, we have the Eight of Swords. With the Eight of Swords, um, this is you feeling stuck in a situation. This is you um, feeling like there are no options, um, not really being able to see the options. This is also feeling um, entrapped, entrapped, <laughs> uh, feeling trapped. I was gonna say entrapment pro probably. Um, but feeling trapped, okay, or feeling like someone's holding you back or something is holding you back or holding you um, in a situation that you don't want to be in. Um, and the Eight of Swords is definitely worrying. It's very, very um, anxious energy um, over the fact that you can't see the way things are going to happen for you. You can't see things come together. You can't see the options or the opportunities, okay? The good thing about the Eight of Swords is... There are options there, okay? You do have options, but you're focusing on the wrong thing and you're, you're failing to see those options, okay? Because you, you're blindfolded in the card. If you were to take that blindfold off, you would see that none of these swords are actually piercing you. You could just walk right out of those swords, okay? So that's um, the current situation, so keep that in mind. Your main opportunity is the Ace of Pentacles. So with the Ace of Pentacles as your main opportunity, these anxieties, this worry and stress can be over finding a job. Uh, it can be over um, a loan you've asked for or dealing with the banks, asking for money uh, or credit or anything like that. Money coming into the home, a new home perhaps, new property, um, a sale going through or a purchase going through, um, or this could be it can be a new relationship it's a general reading so it can be a new relationship as well that you're anxious over or the fact that you feel you're never going to meet anyone um and your main opportunity is actually yes you could meet someone if you just opened up your eyes to the possibilities and the ace of pentacles i feel it can also represent um a proposal for some of you okay it feels like if you're worried that your relationship doesn't have a future or it's not going anywhere or you're struggling to see where it's going, um, the main opportunity with these pentacles is you can have what you're asking for. You can have what you're wishing for, okay? It can happen. You can have this proposal happen. Um, but you do have to revise the way you look at the situation, okay? Because your main challenge is the emperor. With the emperor as your main challenge, this is, it feels like, trying to do um, what you're trying to do in an old way of doing things or trying to conform to something or to fit in a certain box uh, to follow certain rules or guidelines that other people have set for you. Um, and that's your challenge because you need to open up to the possibilities of you doing things the way you want to do things, the way it works for you, not necessarily what the norm is or what the tradition is or what other people are telling you that you should be doing. Now, the simplest example is if you have been waiting for a proposal and worrying over it, uh, with these cards, it says, you know what, look at your options. Maybe you could propose, okay? Maybe that's an option for you. Or just having that conversation. Perhaps your partner is not even aware of what you're thinking, okay? So it's just saying, take a different approach to the situation, okay? With this emperor, it talks about a rigid situation um, that you need to overcome or a one-track mind type of thinking that is holding you back, that it's actually uh, making you feel like you're stuck, making you feel like you don't have any options. The emperor can also represent an authority figure or a father figure of sorts, causing you obstacles or delays, but it feels more like this person is trying to do the best they can, but what they're telling you no longer applies or what they're telling you to do 
does not apply to you. And so that's why you keep hitting one wall after the other because you're trying to do things in a way that is not applicable or suitable for you that does not make the best use of your skills, of your abilities, and it doesn't take you in the direction of your dreams, okay? So the main opportunity is right there, okay? These pentacles, you absolutely have what it takes to make this happen. You just have to take that blindfold off and overcome an old way of thinking or doing things or feeling like you have to do what other people tell you or you have to do things a certain type of way just because your neighbor did it that way or someone else did it that way, okay? Open up to the possibilities. There are loads of possibilities there for you to try um, that apply to you. And the advice card is the sun card. And with the sun card, this is do you, okay? That's what this card says, do you. Um, be independent, okay? This is all about you, okay? The sun card is the self energy, being independent, uh, doing what we want, okay? The way we want it to happen. Uh, the sun card is also free yourself from constraints, okay? Bring light into the situation because you're not seeing things clearly. Things are dark and foggy and uncertain. So bring light into that situation by saying, you know what? I'm not going to be overwhelmed by this situation. I know I can handle it. I know I have everything I need. I'm going to use my brains. I'm going to use my creativity and I will make things happen. I will create these opportunities for myself if I don't see them right now. Um, the sun card is also confidence. Okay, absolutely confidence. Um, even if people are trying to tell you to do things a certain way, you can absolutely stand up for yourself and say, thank you very much, but I think I'm going to try it this way. Or, you know, if it doesn't work and you're starting a big conflict, then that's not what it's about. You can absolutely, you know, say, yeah, okay, thanks, I'll try that. And then go about do, doing things your own way, okay, that works for you. And if you do this in the outcome position, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And with the Eight of Pentacles, this is getting down to work, okay? So starting something new. It could be that you're starting a new job if that's what you've been worried and anxious over. Um, this is taking a class uh, or um, furthering your education, Okay, researching, studying up on a new way of doing things and moving forward, building something. Okay, it can be working on a home if that's what you've been focusing on. So everything goes through the way it's supposed to and now you're working on your home. Or it turns out that you kind of have to make some additional tweaks for your old home to sell and that's what you're doing. But it's definitely working for you and it's taking you towards a very positive and constructive place. This is also, it can represent starting to work on a relationship, whether it's a new relationship or it's, a, it's an old relationship or pre-existing relationship. I'm um, really starting to work on it, but it's very grounded down to earth, solid energy, okay? So it definitely is commitment, commitment to the task and learning as you go and then applying what you learn, okay? So it's guaranteed success. So... The only thing holding you back right now is your own mindset with this Eight of Swords energy. And who, if this is someone who's very overbearing or trying to control you or tell you what to do, you, you really don't have to listen to this person. With the Sun card here, it's telling you that you have everything you need to, to make it on your own, okay? Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do what you're trying to do or that you're never going to get it done or you, it's whatever, okay? Whatever they're telling you that are, you know, it's putting you down or making you feel trapped or like you need them. Um, it's not, it's not good. Okay. It's not true for yourself and focus on your opportunities because there's plenty of opportunities for you during this time frame to create what you've always wanted. Okay. And to start working on it, to, to actually start manifesting it, to bring it into the physical realm. So it looks like a really good, um, week or, you know, really good time frame for you. Um, so I hope that this reading makes sense and I hope that it helps you. So um, thanks again for being here. Hope you have a wonderful time ahead, lots of accomplishments, and I'll see you soon. Take care.